legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. The future. I can see it. Hola Rebeca, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Good. I like your backdrop. Look at that. It's an amazing poster. You guys look amazing. Good. Actually, I have the whole crew here. Wait, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are in Venice, so you're probably like going to see each other today, right? They're, we're all in different rooms here. COVID safe. Oh, that's, pre that's pretty amazing. I can imagine how is it to go to Venice after everything that has happened. How is it to premiere the movie over there? I don't know yet. I mean, this is my first day of press, but I think, to be honest, This is about promoting a film that I am so in love with. I feel like I'm having a relationship with this movie. Um, uh, we're on our first date, me and this movie right now. So uh, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> and I have to say thank you for letting us join the date because the movie is amazing. The more the merrier. Uh, <laughs> and I do have to say that through the years we had some amazing space franchises like Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avatar. And how does it feel to you that this might be the next big space franchise for a new generation? I mean, Timothy should be really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, what can I say? If this takes on and people fall in love with it as much as I have and it becomes a new you know you did the references and comparisons I mean I'd, I'd be blown away because I think there's so much incredible story here I love the coming of age story of this boy I love the intricate family dynamics there's so much to be done here where you can modernize it and activate and energize a young audience as well as embrace you know the the uh, the people who love the past as well i mean it would be amazing but to be honest only this one was amazing as well this is an extermination they're picking my family off one by one Let's fight like demons. This is the first time, speaking of family, this is the first time that I see you in a movie with a family. <laughs> How do you mean? Uh, I mean, in The Greatest Showman, you're trying to destroy a family, you're, or you're a super spy in Mission Impossible, or you're trying to eat children <laughs> as, in, in other films. So this is the first time that I see you uh, as a mom and as a, as a, as a wife. Uh, how's yeah. that experience for you? You're right. Uh, no, I did the white, I did the girl on the train. It was just that my husband was not great and he killed people, but then we killed him. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I, I, I think it's fun. I think what is lovely is the, the dynamic of the family constellations and everyone having sort of, you know, it's there's so much relatable to today's story of, you know, poppy fields and whatever, you know, everyone wants to own the, the, the planet with the spice you know you have that you are empowered and within that intricacy lies the dynamic between for example jessica and, and paul but then you have the house of harkonnens and their dynamics it's it's so much it's so much fun there's so many places to go with it yeah and i love your relationship with timothy paul and jessica are amazing i i i love them i love how vulnerable they are for each other I love that it's not just a simple relationship between a mother and a son. There is such a change of power that needs to happen in this, where she needs to step down, even though she was the knowledgeable one, you know? Rebecca, thank you so much. I think our time is up, but the movie is amazing and I can't wait for all the success that it's coming. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you for the next one. Yes, gracias. <laughs> <laughs>